Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We have got more live tournament action coming at you on GSL's Terminus SE. This is a great map. I really, really quite like this map. And we are watching game three now between these two gentlemen in their best of three matchup, the Big Cheese versus Google. And Google playing as Zerg yet again, so switching back and forth a little bit. That's kind of fun. I like it when people do that. I, I purposely did not put... You know a rule about what race they play in the in the rules. I think it's I think that um, for this level of play, it's okay. You know that uh, I mean it doesn't really switch up their strategy too terribly much. I mean most of these guys need to be focusing on build orders and things like that um, to begin with. You know just standard build orders and things like that. So I don't mind letting people switch it up, and I like to see people giving things a, a try in at this level of play so bronze and silver is what that is and so I mean I think that uh, I think that there's a lot of value to the players if we make it so that they can try different things out do things that they're more comfortable with and because it doesn't in the end it doesn't really make that big of a difference so we are going to see him switching back now to Zerg in game three the big cheese always playing as Protoss he is spawning here in the top center as teal and Google spawning as blue in the bottom center far cross positions do have a scout going out for the big cheese right now looks like he is he is pretty consistent likes to go for four gate type play um, which I think is a good build for him to continue to learn um, it is an aggressive build but uh, there is nothing wrong with being an aggressive type player I mean there are some Korean guys that I'm aware of that have built their careers on very very aggressive play some might even consider it cheese so it is what it is and it can be tons of fun to watch in even in especially in tournaments let's say especially in tournaments i think it sometimes is very very appropriate to cheese however four gate is kind of one of those plays where it's a semi all-in type build it, some people consider it straight up cheese some people don't um I, I tend to not really say that it's it's cheese i think it's a i think it's an aggressive build i don't necessarily consider it an all-in build uh, i mean it, you can get put behind if you're not able to do some damage with it but uh I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, they've got to give something a try. And the nice thing that I'm like that I like right now from Big Cheese is that he's trying uh, that he's trying to perfect a build, which is a good way to start out. You know, get your build order down, get yourself comfortable with one thing, and then start to branch out. However, he did get supply blocked here, so that is another tip for the Big Cheese today. Hope that he will be able to watch this video and take that away. You've got to stay on top of your build order that way. Get those pylons down. You never want to be supply blocked, especially this early in the game. But not too bad. Looks like he's going to be just fine. He is scouting his opponent's base here. Cruising around. Going to be catching a glimpse of everything that's going on. Uh-oh. Oh, that's drone transfer. Never mind. Haha. <laughs> okay, Google is going to be securing this expansion. Here come the Zerglings, going to be cleaning up this poor little probe. This wall off looking to be pretty good here by the Big Cheese. One and one these two players, so it's this this is the determining game right now in this last semifinal match before we go into the finals. The winner of this will be playing Ochiva. Very, very interesting stuff. Lots of map control here by Google. That is what we like to see from our Zerg players. Cruising around the map, checking everything out. Ooh, wow. A little bit of misclick there by Google and the Big Cheese getting a kill there. Off of that drone, not too bad. And we do have, that is correct, Stargate play. Two more racks going down for the Big Cheese. This is going to be very interesting. Now let's check to see the vision of, did he see this? Now he did see something going down there. It will come down to whether or not he was able to click that. I don't believe that he really had tons of time to click that. But uh, so if he runs some more Zerglings up here, he could potentially catch wind of this Stargate. However, if he does not, I imagine at this point he is playing in the dark to what this uh, big cheese is going for. We do have Void Rays coming out on the field right now. This is very interesting play. He's going to be chrono boosting out some Void Rays, cruising those guys out across the map. It will come down, I think, to scouting for Google. I think this is marvelous play right now for the big cheese. He has been consistently going 4-gate, 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 4-gate. I think that uh, Google is expecting exactly that from his opponent yet again. 
and is switching it up at the last game in this tournament. I think this is just wonderful play. So I want to see him continuing to chrono boost here, but these void rays are going to be extremely difficult to deal with. He does have one queen here. Oh no, two queens here. One spreading creep, one at the main. Oh no, two at the main, my goodness. So he has got plenty of queens when it comes down to it. This will definitely come down to micro then. However, these have not quite been scouted yet. Here comes another. Very, very interesting. I'm interested to see what the big cheese has got for us in store with this. Warping in some zealots. He's going to be going zealot void ray, which can be an extremely powerful attack combination. There's the void ray right there. Getting these guys together. That's the key. And here comes the attack. Looks like the big cheese definitely going to be committing to his attack here. He is getting out one more Void Ray. We'll see if he's going to wait for that last Void Ray or if he's going to head in a little bit early. Looks like he is going to be heading in. Double Void Rays. He does have one Stalker here for support. Lots and lots of Zealots. Well, not lots and lots, but plenty of Zealots. Backing up immediately here for Google. These Void Rays going to be doing a lot of damage. But look at all these Queens. My goodness, that is six Queens. And it looks like Google going to be able to hold this off in style. My goodness. Spore Crawler and the works here. Google in great shape. I think he probably overcommitted to Queens there, but that's okay. It definitely came in pretty handy. <laughs> so he did get all the information that he needed at this point, and it looks like, I mean, the Big Cheese is doing some serious damage. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. But he has kept that Stalker alive, so, I mean, this is not the worst situation to be in here for the Big Cheese. He's continuing to warp in units, though, so that's good. Got to stay on top of it. Oh, good transfuse going down on that Queen, barely saving that one. Very well done, and now Google going to be holding this off. Big Cheese going to have to be backing out immediately. Not a good situation to be in. Is he going to continue to press this attack? Now, we've seen this before from Big Cheese. Um, he, when an attack doesn't go well, sometimes he'll kind of stick with that. And it's, it's tough to kind of abandon your, your game plans, I think, sometimes, but that's exactly what you have to do on occasion. But look at these defenses now. I mean, this is going to be really, really difficult for him to break in the, the situation that he's in right now. There are just far too many units, I think, on the ground. Trying to get this Void Ray powered up. Not a bad idea. Here comes the attack. Oh, it's just not going to be enough. Down goes the Void Ray. I think that was his kind of last hope. Oh, and he's warping in more units here. These guys are going to be going straight into their deaths. Oh, he does back them out. That was lucky. Oh, this Void Ray, what are you doing? How come you haven't been in the battle? My goodness. And see, this is the trouble. Now he's in a situation where he's got too much gas, he's got extra minerals, and he's got nothing in production right now. So the big cheese, I mean, this is where this is where the game begins to fall apart for you. So when you commit to an attack like that and it starts to fail, you've got to know when to back out. So that's the best advice I think that you can get out of this game right now is know when to back out, know when to set yourself up defensively. And now you're at 11 minutes into the game. Your opponent's about to be on three mining bases and you just don't have the economy to hold off anything from your opponent anymore. So tough situation to be in. And these zealots going to be going down absolutely not going to hold the, I mean, this attack not going to hold any steam. Roach is now on the field. This is just brutal, brutal, brutal to deal with. Oh my goodness, now the Void Ray going to go down. Is he going to lose this Void Ray? Oh, he does get it out just barely in time. These Zealots making that possible. But this attack has definitely been quelled. Units lost is going to show the Big Cheese coming up severely behind there, and now in a poor situation only on one mining base. He could really use an expansion at this point. Taking a tech switch here to robotics, which I think is a great idea. Um, but it's this is tough, tough unit mixture to support off one base. Really needs to have that, uh, that expansion. I mean, like yesterday, 13 minutes into the game is definitely late for an expansion. And so while it was a great plan at the beginning, I think for Big Cheese, it just, it, it, when it's held off like that in the style that it was by Google, 
you really have got to back out set yourself up defensively and start to macro up and see now we're way way late on this nexus this force here by google is going to be very very scary here in just a moment and he's going to be cruising out across the map he's just going to be building this force up slowly spreading creep he's going to be able to reinforce he's on three mining bases <coughs> i just don't know what the big cheese is going to be able to pull off in this match to be able to pull out a win here i think it was a brilliant idea to go for that uh, Stargate but uh, you know it's just tough when you can't make it stick and you know your transition just fails and that that's where a lot of these uh, you know these players I think can really have some progress I guess in their gameplay and it's really gonna be helpful so here comes a pretty substantial force we've got two void rays <laughs> two zealots this is not going to be enough to hold this off i mean yeah the void rays of course they're a hard counter to roach they because the roaches cannot attack them back however these roaches are going to decimate everything before these uh void rays do anything so look at this he's going to snipe the nexus which is a great idea so brilliant play here by google snipe the nexus and back out yep Keep your opponent on one mining base and you will definitely win. So now he knows what tech to go up against. He can tech to whatever he needs to to counter that. And in the meantime, he is spreading a lot and a heck of a lot of creep across the map. He's got a troop of queens here. These guys are going to be joining the fight here in just a little while. Units tab shows that he is extremely ahead in the economy. We've got 20 probes for the big cheese. And so, I mean, this is just a tough, tough situation to try and come back from. Yep, going to be moving out, it looks like. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, this is this force is just not big enough. There he is, backing up. What upgrades do we have on the way here? Nothing yet, huh? Uh, so maybe for Google, some upgrades I think would be valuable. But look at this. Now he does have these mutalisks on the field. This is just not going to go well for the big cheese. His economy is about to be decimated unless his reaction time is very, very good. No, it is not. And down goes his production. So he is in dire straits at this point. At this point, there's almost absolutely no way that he can come back. Google has got a maxed out army. I mean, it is 17 minutes into the game. So while it wasn't extremely fast to get to maxed out, this was in good time. He was very methodical about it, taking his fourth and fifth bases right now. And these mutalisks are going completely unchecked right now. So, I mean, just doesn't have anything to do against it. He's got three void rays, which is not enough, and one stalker. I mean, these guys would just get obliterated by this many mutalisks. So, all of his production facilities are about to go down. And uh, this is going to have to be GG here. Here comes the rest of Google's army. Roach is moving in. Down go the Void Rays. Down goes the Colossus. And there's the GG. So well done, Big Cheese. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing, man. You know, you did not do bad. It, it was just a tough, a tough opponent at that point. So I say very, very well done. But uh, congratulations, Google. You'll be going here into the finals in just a moment. Thank you guys for watching. Don't alt-tab. Always alt-starcraft. We'll see you in a moment.